Hey everyone and welcome to CT Photography. My name is Cherokee and today what we're gonna be taking a look at is Photoshop's new remove tool. Now we've had the clone stamp tool, we've had the healing brush, we even have content aware remove. There's a lot of removal tools, so why do we need another one? This one is kind of unique and it actually uses AI and a blend of all those tools to come together for one really cool brush tool. So this tool is currently only in Adobe Photoshop beta. So it's not actually implemented into a full version of Photoshop. So if you want the beta version, you have to go into your creative cloud and you have to download the beta version, which I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into Adobe Photoshop and let's check it out. All right, so here we are in Adobe Creative Cloud. Now this is the all app section and we're going to want to actually go into the beta app section, which is gonna be right down here on the left. we we'll click beta apps and right over here where it should be down here where it says desktop apps, but I have mine already installed. And where it says open on mine, it's gonna say install and that will install the beta version of Adobe Photoshop. Now this will overtake the current version of Photoshop that you have. So say if you have like Adobe Photoshop 2023, if you right click and you say go to Adobe from Lightroom, that will automatically push all your new Lightroom stuff into Photoshop. So just know that is going to happen. Uh, so if you do have Adobe Photoshop beta installed, that will happen if you use Lightroom to Photoshop. All right, so here we are in Photoshop beta. So if you're a part of my Instagram group, you've probably already seen the finished image of this. I literally created it just so I can see how this remove tool works, but we were able to remove all of this, which is insanity. But in order to do that, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go over here where usually the healing brush tool is. You'll just click and hold that down. Now you see this new tool called the remove tool. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. And we're just going to uh, zoom in on some of this and we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna test this out and you're gonna see. So we're gonna make this a little bit bigger and let's just select some of this right over here. And let's see how well this takes us out. Boom, done. Yeah, there's a little bit of quirkiness right there. Boom, done. Amazing. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this out right here. Done. <laughs> it's so easy. It's so easy. Let's take this out right here. And I got a little bit right here. Let's go ahead and get that. Done. <laughs> it, it's it's including kind of some of the texture that's on the wall. It's getting some of that bokeh. Let's uh, let's do something like this over here. This is gonna be super easy. Let's get that done. It even got some texture in there. Amazing. That one done. This one done. Like it is insane. Just how easy it is to get rid of all this stuff. Like it's absolutely crazy absolutely crazy get that done and i mean you can go back over and you can paint in some more texture here but just getting rid of all this used to be just a massive massive undertaking and adobe foot all oh, that kind of got got a little messy right there but done it, you just go back over it and it got that texture it used some of this texture from down here i mean this used to be such a long process in order to get a lot of this done to where it looked like decent but now it's literally just click drag Get it done, done. <laughs> and again, you can go back over and you can get a lot of this texture back by just simply, well, let's do some clone stamp and pull, pull that back in and give it some texture down there. It's so easy now. So let's, let's do something a little bit harder. Let's, so we've got a lot of stuff going right here. So let's do this, maybe a little bit bigger of a blob. And let's do all of this right here and see what happens. This might be a little more difficult. Okay, removing area, here we go. That's not bad, that's 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 usable. So like once we get some more of this taken out, we can probably go back and maybe clone stamp some of that stuff in. It literally looks like we were just trying to erase a chalkboard and that's kind of a neat, cool look. But it's just so effortless now. And this is the beta tool. Well, that wasn't that, that terrible. Just break that. Like, <laughs> it's super simple. So this, you, you see how easy this is. So I did all of this photo with just the remove tool, okay? So don't worry about this stuff over here. I also did use the remove tool to remove some of this stuff right here. Like I'll just go ahead and remove this suitcase blemish. Remove that suitcase blemish, okay? Let's just remove that suitcase blemish, okay? Eh, I don't like that. Let's go ahead and remove that. Done. Let's go ahead and remove that. Done. This. Done. <laughs> it's just super 
it's I mean, do you even really have to work anymore? <laughs> like it, it's using the AI, it's using everything around it, the pixels around it, all of, like, I think it even did this. Yeah, let's do this real quick and see what happens. Let's see if it can figure out. I mean, that's not terrible. I could, you know, probably will go in and fix that, but that's not bad. That is not bad at all. Let's get rid of this line and see if, the, yep, there it goes, done. It figured out that that line was there. That's good. That's good. Like, it's crazy how well this works. So I did the entire image this way with just the remove tool. And you'll see I did go in and fix her skin and all that and de-aged her. But this was the final image. This was all done with the remove tool. I didn't go back in and clone stamp any texture. This is all done with the remove tool. I did go in and paint some of the suitcase back just to kind of even it out a little bit. But all of this is done with the remove tool. All of it. I didn't go in and clone stamp. I didn't go in and use the healing brush. This is all done with the remove tool. It looks super clean. And granted, it is a little flat in this area. But, you know, again, if I didn't want to just showcase what the remove tool was, I could go in and I could fix a lot of this texture, make it a little bit sharper and so forth. But this is so good. It's super impressive. I can't wait to get this completely in implemented into a, a version of Photoshop. But until now, I'll just use the beta version if I need to remove a bunch of stuff. Everyone, if you've gotten this far, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, as well as check me out on all the social media accounts. I got Facebook, Instagram, as well as the Patreon at patreon.com slash charity turn. All those links are going to be down in the description below. I hope you enjoy this. I'm looking forward to doing more. If you want to become a patron, you can totally do that. It helps support my channel as well as it helps me do more photography gigs as well as do more reviews and just really helps the channel in general. But everyone, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.